The sale and manufacture of counterfeit goods is big business, and art forgery is all part of this criminal network. But an Ottawa gallery is taking a unique perspective on fake art and making it the basis of an exhibit. His Vashia Capellos. At first glance, this photo, a piece of art in an Ottawa gallery, looks real, right? You can see my, my, my reflection. It's, it's very, not. It's a photo of another photo, and it was taken by John Boyle Singfield. I did it because I wanted to, to represent a very uh, often shown phenomena on the web, which is a popular copy or bootleg. Singfield's replicas are part of an exhibit at the Saw Gallery called F is for Fake. It takes a closer look at the controversial world of art forgery. We like to create debate that way. Mm -hmm. So for us, if there's a tinge of controversy that brings people through our doors, it's fine. When we started researching this show and thinking about it, it was like peeling back an onion. So you'd think that you were like on one side of it, but then you'd realize that there was like a case or an angle where you looked at it and then you thought, whoa, like suddenly you're turned around. Here is our Norval Morisot section. The exhibit follows a money trail starting with forgeries of a well-known Aboriginal artist's work. It was a forgery circle based out of Thunder Bay uh, that included some members of his family. Next, it's a Chilean forger. Then, two paintings from a place in China called Daffin Village. Very, very sloppy Van Gogh. The village produces five million pieces of forged art a year. That's where you find that the art market has a certain level of corruption. The exhibit ends on Boyle Singfield's work. It's badly done. There's flash stains everywhere. The, the the image is very pixelated. The photos were originally supposed to be a full exhibit on their own at a gallery in Quebec. It never happened because the original artist threatened to sue. This is Janita R. Boyle Singfield understands their point but was making one of his own. In a world of bootleg movies, songs and yes art, the line between real and fake is a lot more blurry. People start really to to be confronted with that reality. And that's basically what I wanted to do. Vashi Capellos, Global News, Ottawa.